Yeah, we don't actually have enough doctors. So uh, I think our workforce planning hasn't been good enough. So what we didn't anticipate is that our own doctors might choose to work abroad. So a lot of them have gone to Australia and to New Zealand and to the United States. Uh, and we found that our young doctors are wanting to travel first and then they come back at a later stage or they don't come back. Uh, and the other thing that we didn't plan for was that um, the young doctors, particularly uh, the ladies, want to work on a part-time basis. So we planned that they would all work as they used to on a full-time basis. So that's what's led to some of our shortages. Uh, and the last thing is that people are retiring earlier. So instead of retiring at 65, they're retiring at 55. So all of these three things uh, together has meant that, that we've had, got a workforce shortage. So uh, we hope they do have some choice actually. So we're recruiting, my job is to recruit for the Midlands. Uh, the Midlands area is a population of about 11 million people. So it's a very large area uh, and it's the size of some you know, some countries actually. So in that we have a number of very large cities but we also have rural locations. So within that area people have the ability to choose where they want to work. So some of them, uh, if they don't have a family, will meet a new partner there. Some of them uh, will really like the country because, uh, you know, it's a country where as you know, with things like Brexit, there's a lot of freedom of speech. So you may think that, that uh, you know, the country is heading out of Europe, but there are a lot of people who think the other way. The important thing is that people can express their opinions. Uh, and it's the same in medicine. We have a very vibrant community and we welcome doctors from any background in any country. Well, I hope that the pay is good uh, and we make sure that the pay is uh, better that usually than their own countries. We try and make sure that they live in places where their standard of living is high. Uh, we look after them as a community of doctors. They don't feel isolated. And we try and look after the families to make sure they integrate in the communities and they feel it's their home. So I think there's a big difference, okay? So, so the first uh, difference is in language, okay? And there's a, a, a a residential program that Paragona put on which is absolutely fantastic. It's supportive, group of doctors come together, they learn the language together, they support each other, Paragona supports them uh, and whilst they're on the campus here in Warsaw uh, we come out and we try and see how they're getting on, we induct them into the ways the NHS works, try and tell them about the NHS we help them with consultation skills, how English patients ex expect to be consulted with, um, and we hope that makes them blend in better into a system with which they're not familiar.